Karen, you know how I always ask you for advice on things? Like, what button to press on the computer, what sandwich I should get for my lunch, what cake I should have for after my sandwich? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that, yeah. <sighs> There's this boy that I like. He's tall, he's dark, he's handsome. You know, it's so funny because it's just so easy for you, you know? Everyone just naturally is drawn to you. You've got so much charisma. I bet you've never had to struggle to ask a boy out in your life. I bet they just come to you, you know, like flies. I'm just quite shy and withdrawn and I find chatting to people dead, dead hard. Right, OK. I think the main thing to remember is be yourself. Let them see who you are. Just find yourself a nice wee simple question that you can open up the conversation with, something like... What are you going to do with the rest of your life? I was thinking more in terms of what kind of food do you like to eat? So, say, for instance, he says, I like to eat Italian food. And you say, I like Italian food as well. Do you fancy getting a pizza one night? Wow. Karen, that is incredible. Well, I know you were charming, but I didn't realise you were a real Lothario. <laughs> Yeah. But nevertheless, do you just go for it? Oh well, Karen. I think I'm gonna go home and, you know, practice in the mirror. What type of what type of food do you like? Maybe practice it a few times. Yeah. Yeah. But don't leave it too long because you you're only young once and, and you, you don't want to miss your chance. <laughs> well thanks, Karen. I'm one hundred percent feeling so much better about everything, so I really appreciate all your help. Officer Karen. Officer Sharon. Hello. How are you doing? I need help with my parking tickets. I'm putting them out in cars no. and nobody's taking yeah, them. Yeah, no, Bobby, you can't be putting out personal fixed penalty notices. Remember, we talked about how you could end up in a lot of trouble. Bobby, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What, what kind of food do you like? Bread, smoked sausages, bagels, tomato soup, tangerines. Microwave noodles, Indian curry, but no too spicy. I love a chippy, hunters of pickles. So, would you be like okay to come and maybe have a not spicy Indian um, with me? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> maybe we could go to a restaurant together to maybe get a curry at the at, you, at the same time on purpose. Maybe if you're free ever. I'll, t I'll tell you what, maybe, maybe I just shortcut this slightly here. Are, are you really sure? Really sure? Right. So the situation here, Bobby, is that Officer McKelvey is attempting to invite you to join her on a date. I, I, are you serious? An actual real date with me? I've never been on a debt before. Officer Garen, can you help me, please? Help. Right. I would suggest that maybe you just say yes. Yes? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby, for saying yes to me asking you. Thank you. You can take that, cos my number's on that. Oh, great. I'll text you tonight, then. Right, <laughs> OK. Thanks, Officer Garen. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> See you later, Officer Garen. Yes! Play it cool. Don't act too excited. What do you not think he's just got everything? I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> I would never have been able to do this by myself. <laughs> She's like an owl. An ancient, wise owl. All right, Officer Karen. Oh, Bobby. I'm here to pick up the babe. You look really nice, Bobby. Thank you very much, Officer Sharon. You look lovely as well, but you always look lovely. Thanks. Uh, I've actually not really had any time to get ready. Karen, would you mind if I just slipped away a couple of minutes early? No, that's fine. I just okay. pop through the back and... Uh... Right. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Take your time. Don't rush. I've got all night. So I take it you'll just be waiting here till, till McKelvey's ready to go, then? Yes, please. Can I ask you for advice? 
please. Of course, Bobby. How can I help? I'm shaking and I'm sweating right through this suit. Can you keep me right? Just try to remain calm. You've done everything right so far. You don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. OK? I just feel like my heart's going to explode. Like, I know I feel like that all the time, but it's a wee bit extra this time. It's right. like the air is going away when I try to speak. Try and control your breathing, so you're going to breathe in for four. And just four. You need to you need to breathe that out because otherwise, here we go. I could do that all night. Well, here she's coming. Shh. Officer Sharon, you look amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> you look really handsome too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Does she not look brilliant, Officer Karen? Come on. Y you look lovely, McKelvey, and, and you're going to make a very handsome couple on the bus there. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Bye, Karen. <laughs> See you later, well, Officer McKelvey. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. It's really nice. Oh. You can get whatever you want tonight, by the way. It's oh. on me. Thanks so much, Bobby. <laughs> Officer Karen, cheers. See you later, Bobby. Officer Karen, Officer Karen, have you got any tissues? The wine's broke. Let me get you some blue, though. Of course, a true love never runs smooth, does it? <laughs>